Mycogen brand sunflower hybrids are developed to deliver greater yield and oil content for higher profit potential. Learn more at mycogen.com slash sunflowers. Rainfall water is a critical source for recharging soil water reservoirs, which enables the soils to ensure a continuous supply of water and essential plant nutrients. Under ideal and moderate weather conditions, the recharge and discharge of the soil water reservoirs will balance out and there will be no negative effects on soil health or plant growth. Different weather conditions, however, bring different challenges. A wet weather cycle, which we are experiencing right now, brings the water table level too close to the topsoil, whereas dry weather promotes capillary rise of the soil water towards the surface due to excessive evaporation. To know more and how to manage these problems, we discussed it with Naeem Kalwar, who is the Extension Specialist for Soil Health at the NDSU Langdon Research Extension Center in Langdon, North Dakota. Naeem is a member of the NDSU Soil Health Team, which is helping the growers and landowners to understand and overcome the soil health problems in North Dakota. Generally, our landscape is a rolling type and subsoil water moves from high grounds to low grounds due to the natural drainage with gravitational force. This movement is mostly vertical, however it can be horizontal depending upon the slope. High grounds are the recharge areas whereas low grounds are the discharge areas. Under the wet cycle, rainfall water infiltration would generally exceed the limits of the recharge areas. This excess water will enter the discharge areas under natural subsoil flow and the low ground may not have any further drainage. That is why under a wet weather cycle high grounds mostly won't have any excessive salts due to the lower water table level and good salt leaching process. In case of heavy rainfall though, high grounds will lose the topsoil and soil organic matter due to the excessive surface runoff. When this excessive water gets dumped in the lower grounds, it raises the soil water table level and that will lead to the buildup of excessive salts and sodium along with depleting the soil of oxygen. Under drier conditions, capillary rise will be prominent in areas with shallow water table levels as well as around the stagnant bodies of water commonly called prairie potholes or sloughs. That happens due to the combination of adhesion and cohesion forces acting on soil water. Is there a way to balance out soil water contents in the recharge and discharge zones? The best way to balance out the water contents of the high grounds versus low grounds is to intercept the movement of excessive subsoil water before it would reach the low grounds. By doing that, we can lower the water table levels in the lower grounds. That can be achieved by planting strips of water use efficient crops around the edge of the high grounds. Same concept can be applied around sloughs or infield ditches to minimize the creeping or capillary rise of the subsoil water towards the high grounds. Crops like alfalfa not only use up a lot of soil water, but due to their deeper rooting system, they can improve the soil water infiltration by creating macro pores. Once established, crops like alfalfa can lower down the water table in the discharge areas to desired levels allowing the plants to grow in a healthy environment. 